Hey everybody, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to do a special unboxing where I'm actually going to open the package that just arrived for me from uh, uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania. This is for a Kickstarter that closed in April, funded in April of 2014. Originally it was supposed to ship uh, January of 2015, and now it's January 2016, and it just arrived. Of course, I'm speaking of the Mercs Recon Kickstarter from Megacon Games. People have brought you Myth. Uh, they have, uh, I guess, a Myth uh, uh, expansion uh, on the way, Journeyman or something like that. I don't know. I don't get into the fantasy genre. Um, but also the uh, Banner Saga um, either is currently on or has funded with Kickstarter. So they're a miniatures based game company. Um, there were some delays, obviously, uh, some miscommunications, but all that aside, the game is here. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because there's been some concerns about quality. Uh, this should have been, this is uh, one box that has the two base games in it, should, hopefully, uh, uh, Assassination Protocol and uh, Counter Threat, both in the, both the standalone games, Works Recon. Um, and there's just been some concerns about the condition. There should have been a lot of expansions that came with this. They're going to be shipping presumably later this month. Uh, and we should have them in a couple of more months, which is fine because there should be plenty here to get started. It's totally sellable. It's one to five characters. So one to five players. Uh, you all, well, excuse me, excuse me, take it back. It's five characters, always one to five players. So you can, uh, you can team up and play co-op or uh, um, play solo, which is what I intend to do. It is a, uh, kind of like Years of War, there's a card-driven system to manage the AI and the the uh, escalating threat level. It looks really great. I mean, it looks like it's going to play really well. So we're just going to take a look real quick inside the package and then inside the box and, uh, and see what we got. So let's get right in here. So we didn't cut too deep. And I'll probably pause this as soon as I get it open. A little, little dinged in the package. Now you'll see there is no um, there's no padding. There's two loose boxes. So they're this is, they did not ship those. Their fulfillment center shipped this, and their fulfillment center uh, does not know how to ship, apparently, because fortunately, Shrikan looks like my copy's in pretty good shape there. That was assassination protocols, so I should say, sorry. And this is counter threats. It also is in pretty good shape, so. It survived the very, very amateurish packing job that they did, so that's fine. So we're going to open one here. Um, the um, not very familiar with the um, story here for Mercs. There is a uh, book that became available that gives some of the backstory which I have not yet read um, which I probably should but I have not so um, uh, basically corporations run the world uh, and there's eight houses to the different corporations and these are these guys and they you know go into battle and the, the, the theme of the game is basically your uh, Merck's team is uh, doing a raid on the floor of an office building. And you get you don't know what the mission is, what you're gonna find until you set up the mission. So we will open it and see if the complaints that I've been hearing are true. Interesting. What we've got on the back it says one to five players. On the front it says two to five players. It's obviously one to five. Um, 
details have not been their strong suit, unfortunately. At least in terms of business details. Uh, gameplay is supposedly really, really, really good. So let's see how our package from China to Ohio to Pennsylvania fared. Maybe we can get the box off. The box is actually really nice. The artwork is gorgeous. I do like the art. Um, definitely get the flavor of the, uh, the theme. Looks tight. Oh man. Alright. So let's see what we got here. We have information about the two houses. In Counter Threat, we have the CCC and the EU. Uh, this is on their skills. Quality, you know, glossy uh, paper. Not bad, nothing to complain about. Rule book. For those of you that heard me mention uh, Myth, uh, they actually got the rule book out in advance. People could read it. They worked on on changes. They learned they learned the lesson of the Myth rule book. So even though I don't play it, I uh, I do pay attention. So uh, they're short, sixteen pages. Got that good smell. Not that that matters. Um, but anyway, very clear, lots of pictures. Uh, there are some questions. There's an FAQ on their site already, which is good. I had it before it came out. So these are the tiles. These are the small tiles. Um, these are stand ins for uh, the miniatures, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, your blood, which is your wounds, I believe. Uh, various markers. Um, these are counter three players, and one complaint is that uh, each each character has a different color that they'll use to track their their information on their status card. And uh, supposedly some people got purple, two purples instead of a purple and blue. So we'll find out if we got that problem. Oh, well, let's flip it over. This is apparently two sheets, and yes, see, I did get a I got a second set of purple here. So I've got purple and orange, and this is the back side of the other. And then I've got a purple, a black, and a green. So that's annoying, but they've promised to fix it. Now, one thing that is strange, I don't know if you can see it here. There's a missing tile. The, uh, or excuse me, a, this is a collateral damage disc. It goes on when you shoot up a room enough. It, uh, it gets weaker and weaker and weaker and causes damage and causes the threat level to increase. Uh, that one's missing. And I don't see, I don't see where it could possibly have slid under. So looks like I'm missing one here. Uh, counter seemed pretty decently registered. The inner circle is inside. There's an inner circle in there. It's inside the the uh, pretty much centered around the cut. So that's good. All right, these are the room tiles and the breach and clears. We'll open these in a minute too. As you can see it's office rooms. Um, sure I'm sure stuff light on here. Uh, and the characters move through these and there's rules for you know the inside an office, outside an office, so on and so forth. But open those in a second. Now bases all the uh, miniatures, because they're the standard black slit bases that the miniatures will pop into. Um, there have been some complaints about the minis and the dice. So let's take a look at the dice first. You have three different colors of dice. You've got red and yellow and black. And they are um, apparently pretty cheaply made. And they are. They kind of remind me of the dice. One of the weak parts of Ars Victor was the dice were pretty crappy. They were like a light plastic. They're very light. Don't have the heft of a regular die. The, uh, the embossings are kind of shallow. Well, the paint on mine looks looks pretty good. 
Uh, the ones people are complaining about are the ones that have double bursts on them. And see, that's a shield. That's a burst. But you can tell on camera or not. So they're kind of similar. You gotta look really tight. They're definitely nowhere near as good as X Wing dice. And they're not happy about it either. Megacon is very upset with the quality that came out. So like in this one, you can see that the you can see a little black dot in the center of the burst. The paint's barely even there. So it could be worse. Could be a lot better. I'm not seeing a double burst though. I don't know what's what die that's supposed to be on, but I'm not seeing if it's a problem. So maybe that's the problem is that they're not there. So I ordered some plain white dice. Uh, I'm just gonna make make some labels for them. DIY. So that's fun. Alright, so let's try to get to some minis here. Now I'm a gamer, I'm a board gamer, not a miniature gamer. In fact, miniatures don't really thrill me too much. Uh, some of the complaints are the quality. One suggestion is definitely you open one bag at a time. Not because everything in a bag stays in a bag. Um, they are keyed, so you can interlock them. There are some definite flash issues. Um, they're not bad, I guess. If you're a, they don't really flex as bad as everybody was saying. At least this this guy. Let's the gun here. It's hard to see with my hands. I'm sorry. The guns have a little bit. I you know what? These are fine. These are no worse than anything I've seen before. Um, I did I did assemble some Sedition Wars, um, and I did assemble most of. Uh, uh, I'll draw the blank on it now. The uh, I'll I'll annotate the video with that. I can't remember what that it was. Uh, by Mantic. Anyway, they um. They seem they seem fine. They definitely seem gameplay and quality. I mean, you're gonna lose some detail. They seem kind of smooth, but uh, I think they're totally fine. At least the ones I've seen. There's supposedly one lady in here that doesn't have much of a face, but uh, I'll paint that to be like she's wearing a balaclava or something. Ski mask. So I'm not worried about the the uh, thickness. The one here that's got a bend, but looks like it's a hose or something for a flamethrower anyway, so that should be out of bend. I think they're fine. They're kind of tiny. But apart from that, they're pretty good shape. One other thing I'm thinking of doing here is um, assembling these is, uh, is making some standees or something. I'm not using miniatures. I don't really care about the miniatures all that much. They're cool, but they don't really add anything to the gameplay for me. Here are your character cards. Let's do that real quick. The leader. Got the sergeant. Right, there should be ten of these, one for each house. Or five for each house, the analyst. And then five cards for the CCC. So uh it's cool cool thing is that you can play each 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 different I guess army in each merch group um, uh, against the same missions, so that's kind of neat. Cards look pretty standard. I'm not going to open these. These control. These are stat cards for the uh, the enemy, and um, action cards and the AI cards tell you what to do, what, what the op force do. Um, so I'll open one of these real quick. This is shrink wrapped and going to a stack and a mismatched stack, which is kind of strange. They will do that because it gives them a little flex, but they actually seem to be, for the most part, okay. Um, so these pop out like this. This is a, obviously a four square tile, it's double sided, so you've got some varieties to which sides you're going to use. Um, when you set up the map, we'll do a gameplay video later, you can find one online now. Um, some of these do have little 
Got some dimples in them. Somebody reported like they've been used. I'm sure these weren't used because I mean, they're obviously in the, in the frame, but obviously not a lot of care was given to them in the factory. So I guess China doesn't like the idea of a massive tariff or something coming. So um, these seem fine. Very thick. Nice, nice thickness to them. Probably not going to curl. Um, show you real quick. This is the other cool part of this game is the frame. So when you set up your board, you're going to build this frame around, and that's going to give you a place to put your 8x8 grid, which is made of the 4x4s and 2x1s and 1x1 tiles. Uh, and you're going to build your board out, and it's got, your, it's got some different tracks on it that you're going to need. So um, the quality of these seem fine. They're very, very thick. Uh, this is the breach and clear tile. Very thick. Uh, there's two of them actually. Uh, and this is how you resolve. Well, this, this is how you resolve the final, the final battle. And there's special rules for that. Again, a little dusty, but for the most part in pretty good shape. I'm I'm happy with it. I think it's I think it's fine. I think it's totally fine. Dice will be replaced. I think we're good. So that is the counter threat box and the reset and open the uh, assassination protocol real quick to see what's in it. Most of the content's going to be the same, just differences, obviously different armies, different figures. Um, the card, card deck's going to be the same, the dice are going to be the same, tokens and counters are going to be the same. We'll see if the other box has the purple, purple problem. Uh, be right back and reset to do that. Okay, so I've already cracked the shrink on the assassination protocol. I'm going to get this one open again. Very thankful that the boxes survived the, uh, the non-padded shipping. I guess the air surrounding it in the box was enough for them. So, all right. So in this one, we've got Kenbar and Kaiza Waza. Kizai Kizai Waza. I don't know. I don't know these high ground. They're also the. Uh, these are the two base games. Uh, also ordered the uh, expansion pack everything which comes with uh, mission packs for other houses and of course all the Kickstarter uh, uh, stretch goals, a bunch of new uh, figures, things like that. So again, one or more for the cards and I'll probably make the uh, uh, standees to use. So we've got the two character sheets, we've got another rule book. Obviously because again like I said these are standalone games. We'll take our sheet out. We'll look, I see this has the disc the upside down. It does have the disc there, so totally missing one of the discs. Uh, these are again used only when you cause destruction in a room. Uh, but again, I got the purple and the purple. So again, it's two sheets. Um, I want to take these out because I want these all to start falling out um, prematurely. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got. So the game here, um, you come each, it comes with 20 miniatures that we saw in the bags. You got 10 mercs, 5 for each uh, army, uh, corporation, and uh, 10 of the uh, security force 2 and security force 3 uh, have miniatures. And then these guys here are the security force 1s, and there's some that uh, were stretch goals that were, I think, some miniatures for security force 1s. And we get to Security Force 4, which is the fourth uh, highest level, or it's even the highest level, you will actually use the opposing uh, corporation for those miniatures. So, so we did not lose our collateral damage disc. Again, that same thing here. Now that's a little annoying that that's been burst, but you can see it's really, it's pretty thin. I, mean, I wouldn't take my sandwich to work in this. Somebody in, somebody in China really messed up, or really... Uh, cheaped out on so it's pretty frustrating. I'm not going to open these. These are slightly different. The frame will be the same. The tiles will be different, so it gives you some variety, and then the expansion packs will have different tiles as well. Uh, the card deck is the same, so you've got both sets. You're going to have uh, two of the same thing, so you just play with one, store the other one. Dice again. Um, again, not the greatest quality. They're not they're not that bad. They're serviceable. 
I actually think they were probably worse than ours, Victor. Which is, again, like I said, a great game. Just the dice were pretty shy. But these are great. Um, I say great. They could be better. And they're going to be fixed. I believe I believe they'll, they'll fix it. They should have probably fixed it to begin with. Uh, one of the concerns with them was that they didn't have the... Um, they probably should have had a person on site during the actual production process to make sure things were, were going like they were supposed to. And I hope they learn that. But we shall see. These, uh, these miniatures go for a tabletop miniatures game as well. Um, so what you get is um, a lot of people wanted them, got the set to have the miniatures. They sell them already, like other miniatures games, in metal for these houses, corporations. Um, so they um, working, you know, combine that. They're also working on part of the Kickstarter was the Tabletop 2.0 rulebook, which is supposed to be in print now uh, and also coming in the next few months. So, you got miniature people who are a little disturbed by the quality there of the miniatures, and then you got gamers who are like, oh, these are great. And these aren't, they aren't as large as, say, um, uh, Imperial Assault. My paint job from uh, they're still you know still ongoing here for a year now. Just can't finish them. But uh, so these are the size of the Imperial Assault miniatures. So they have a little more detail just in the, by the fact that they're a little larger. And then you got this guy here, who at its full height is shorter than the guard and shorter than. The, about the same height as a stormtrooper, and I guess he's in a he's in an action crouch. So you can go. This is for my wife. Pew 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 pew. Because obviously that's what I do. Um, that said, they're pretty good. I mean, they're pretty thick. Um, some people are complaining about flash lines being in bad locations. I'm not seeing it, but I'm not taking it with a with a highly critical eye either. It just doesn't just doesn't bother me. In fact, I'll probably just glue an arm on, stick them in here, like I said, make the make the miniature, the uh, standees. So, the fans. Uh, I guess you got your five guys, five guys, and your ten, ten bad guys in the box. So, in all, I am not, I am not unhappy with what's come. I'm not a, I've, I've definitely not been a fanboy. Um, I've been very critical of how they ran the thing. But I think these have turned out pretty good. And I think, based on what I've seen in the gameplay, which is the main thing, is going to be awesome. So, there you have it. That's what I got. It, uh, like I said, just arrived a year late. But, uh, hopefully within the next few weeks I have everything back. And, uh, and, uh, you'll see some reports here of of the play because they're really proud of the play and I think it's going to turn out to be really, really fun. So, uh, hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later.